I would have not assumed that uh, you, Gilbert, would write a book on big data slash deep learning. I mean, obviously, it may, may make sense, right? You teach linear algebra, so you might also write a book about deep learning or like machine learning. But yeah. what fascinates you about deep learning and what was the the initial idea, the thought process to write a book? Well, because there's a plethora of books out there. What was your idea to write a book like this? Yeah. Well, first of all, in like finite elements, I could see, anybody could see that this is a method that's that's working and it's here to stay and it's solving big new problems. So just the way finite elements are done. So I'm thinking, okay, how to get a picture of the, of the whole picture of the, it's, it's creating a, a function. I call it a learning function from all the layers of the network uh, and the construction of the weights. It, it's creating some function that matches the training data. You could say, if I use a math word, it, it tries to interpolate the training data. If if you if you know uh, uh, maybe a thousand uh, training cases or ten thousand, you try to find a function that gets those correct, identifies those correctly, and then you hope that it will uh, give a good answer for new data, the test data that you haven't seen. Well, that's the problem. And uh, of course, there have been many ways to interpret, to fit the function to the data. Uh, interpolation is taught in, in just, you know, fitting a polynomial through points is a classical method. And everybody knows it's not very successful or stable when you have a lot of points. But here, this new method is successful. So that's the challenge for me is why is this new method succeeding where older methods simply failed? We, we had no good way to fit a lot of data. And now we do. And uh, now uh, deep learning, that piecewise linear, typically using a ReLU nonlinearity uh, in, the, in the middle of the neural net uh, has just answered a question that we did not have an answer to previously. Mm -hmm. I see. And also in your book, which is, I think, very beautiful, as you start from the fundamentals, so everything that that deep learning builds on is basically things like stochastic gradient descent, descent for example. Yeah, sure. sure. And then you have all the topics in your book and building your way up in terms of like um, increasing um, difficulty. Yeah, yeah. All the topics except coding. That's not my world. So I don't, uh, and other people do it, of course very well and and uh, you know there there are lots a, a beginner can get a lot of help from from uh Keras or or uh yeah all, all the tools so my part like finite elements my my part is just to try to understand what's happening at the at the function level so to speak yeah that you're, that you're creating this function out of, you, you remember the function involves, you know, L different layers, each layer, you multiply the previous layer by a matrix, and you add a bias vector, and then you do the nonlinearity, the ReLU, and then do it again and again. Very remarkable functions are created very quickly by that composition, can I use the word composition? A function of a function of a function. Mm -hmm. uh, it's sort of, the, and that's what, when you want the derivatives, you need the chain rule. Uh, to, if you have a function of a fu f of g of x, the chain rule is, you know, df dg, dg dx. So, and that's what back substitution as, uh, and, uh, and, uh, 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 Oh, oh, the 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 processes the computing processes produce yeah mm -hmm.